morning everyone it is planting day for dahlias finally it is sunday may 27th and this is later a little later than i would have liked to but life happens and sometimes we don't get to things as soon as we would like so my son is sleeping i've got the monitor i'm gonna try and at least get these five in by the greenhouse so i'm gardening in zone 5b this is the first year i'm officially putting a lot of dahlias into the ground. I had one in a container last year. So it'll be an experimental year and see what works here, what doesn't work here, etc. But I've got a lot of great resources that I'm using. So I'm going to set up and I'll just do a voiceover and take you through what I'm doing as we go. The supplies I'm using for this round of dahlia planting are my heavy duty auger, Sluggo for prevention of snail and slugs, bone meal to add calcium and phosphorus, labeled ID tags as well as a picture of the dahlias I'm planting, peat moss to loosen up heavy clay soil and promote drainage, and my bamboo sticks, five foot tall, and of course the dahlias I'm planting. Okay, these are the ones from Connell's Dahlias. And these were the ones that had a little mold on them. You can see they're starting to shrivel, which is not ideal. I'm a little worried these aren't gonna take, but we're gonna try it anyways. Any growth that is over an inch long, I'm gonna come back and clip down to an inch so they have sturdier stems as they come up. The Swan Island Stallia Company had that in their manual. So I'm gonna do that with all the rest of mine too. Like this is not ideal on the end. I'm gonna try and scrape as much of that off as I can. You can see how much this is already shriveling. It's gotta be because of that. Now let's auger our holes four to six inches deep. Nice big freshly augered four to six inch hole. Now I'm gonna come in and add peat moss to loosen up the heavy clay soil we have and promote proper drainage so that our tubers are less likely to rot or get moldy. After peat moss, I come in and add bone meal, which is essentially calcium and phosphorus. Some recommend skipping bone meal if you have pets or animals, which can be attracted to bone meal, which could result in your tuber being dug up. I'm doing an experiment doing three holes with and two without. Then I add sluggo in the hole, which is a big rookie mistake. This should be added on top of your soil after the dahlias have been planted. Of course I was in a hurry and didn't double check what I was doing. Ideally it's put on top of the soil because it baits the snails and slugs in to eat, get full, and then they'll die a few days later. However, this should just turn into iron phosphate in the soil, so I'm hoping these tubers do okay. Now I lay the tuber in horizontally on its side with the new growth, if there is any, facing up. And then I cover with soil. The last step is to add my ID tag, which has a BM, so I know this hole has bone meal in it. And then add the stake at the top of the dahlia's eye. Let's take a fast look at the rest of the row. Okay, they're all in. Notice I did not water them in. You don't want to water them in at the time of planting because it increases their likelihood to rot, especially since mine are already a little squishy and I'm a little worried if those are going to make it or not. I am not watering them. After they sprout and come above the surface, I can water them then. Also, fertilization. After they come above the surface, or I believe it's about two weeks after you have planted them, then you can go in with the fertilizer. They recommend the first number, which is nitrogen, be half as much as the calcium and phosphorus. 
So like four, eight, eight, something like that would be better as opposed to more nitrogen and less phosphorus and calcium. So I'm going to clean up here. I'm glad I at least got those five in. I've only got 30 more to go and we'll put those elsewhere in the landscape. But good luck with your dahlia planting. Please comment and let me know what I'm missing, what your must-dos are when you're planting your dahlias. And good luck getting all of yours in. Happy planting. Bye.